It is International Day of Women and Girls in Science. This morning, though, some new information about women's pay in the tech industry specifically shows that we have a long way to go. So we're asking you today if you think sharing salary information in the workplace is helpful or harmful. Go to our website or you can go to our app and vote. Weigh in right now. Let's go to Cleo to talk about these numbers and what the study found. Yeah, you know, Dallas may have the reputation as a tech hub, especially with Uber coming here and all of that, but it's really not a good deal when it comes to women. We're talking women in the world of tech, the tech industry. Now, according to that new study from Smart Asset, top 15 cities for women in tech. Well, the top three here or Baltimore, Washington, Arlington. Look at Houston at number six here. They actually slipped a bit. Now, when it comes to Dallas, it's one of the worst cities for women in tech. Check out the number here, 54 out of 59. So why so low? It's really because of the pay gap. So we're going to look into this study just a bit more here to break down the numbers for you. In Dallas, men are paid about 29% more than women to do the same exact job. And women only fill about 25% of tech position, positions Sorry, there in the city. So get this Fort Worth. Well, they're actually much, much closer to equal pay. The wage gap jumped to about 92%. So as we said, today is international day of women and science of girls in science all you got to do is use the hashtag women in science to join the conversation i love this tweet here from arjana spodrak with the un saying many of tomorrow's jobs are in science and tech if women and men do not participate on an equal footing then entire economies and societies could miss their true potential and she is calling for gender equal future and you know they're also saying many organizations in terms of women in tech are talking about the fact that listen and we know that there are uh, pay disparities, lots of them across uh, many uh, fields. But the thing is to push young girls into fields like STEM, to get them interested in science majors. Uh, my cousin, he's about to graduate with his doctorate in nuclear engineering. It's a class of 300. There's only one girl. Well, and I think, too, giving women the confidence or young women the confidence to speak up and ask for more money, yeah. ask for a raise. Mm -hmm. I mentioned that book, Nice Girls Don't Get Corner Offices in the Last Half Hour. I'm sure a lot of people out there may have some books they'd like to share. Use the hashtag I am up because sometimes you can have all the encouragement you need, but if you don't have the confidence to ask for what you deserve, it can hold you back. I also think sharing that number can give you some insight as to, okay, I should be making close to this, but it's so hard to, to really find out those numbers. Well, so you have two issues. You have one, uh, you know, women given opportunities in STEM fields. Then you also have the pay gap, which according to our poll here, 72% of folks think it is hurtful to share that salary information. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean there aren't other avenues to find it out if you want to advocate for yourself. Uh, so thanks to everybody who weighed in this morning. Could be a lot of men voting. Hey, listen, I think it's hurtful, too, so I'm just going to go out there and say that. Okay. If you're not willing okay. to do something about it or walk away, if you yes. find out that information, all it's going to do is make you mad. Yes. Uh, all right. <laughs>